Hey everyone, it's Marianne from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees with a question for the active unions and union members. So are you guys familiar with your own collective bargaining agreements? Do you know that because the MLC, which is, well, you guys know who the MLC is, uh, voted to eliminate all health care plans for, for employees and retirees and forcing them into one sole health plan, Aetna Medicare Advantage. If that plan doesn't work for you, they're just saying, hey, you could just opt out. You would lose your Medicare B reimbursement, but you could go buy a Medigap on the outside. Well, there's another problem. Actually, there's two problems. One, if you are under 65 and disabled, you will most likely not be able to get a Medigap plan without underwriting. And if you're under 65, it's going to be really, really hard uh, because most states don't have guarantee issue for under 65 and disabled. And these are your 9-11 people and your first responders who are disabled due to line of duty, as well as many others. And then, of course, if you're over 65 and you have pre-existing conditions, um, because Jeff Sorkin was dead wrong on this months ago when we called it, um, but he insisted in the UFT RTC meeting that they're protected by the American Care Act. Wrong. There is no protection in Medicare. This is why people do not auto-enroll their seniors into Medicare Advantage plans, leaving them no options to Medicare. You will almost have a, you will have a difficult time getting into Medicare uh, Medigap plans if you are over 65 with pre-existing conditions or under 65 and disabled. But here's another caveat. How many of you have read your collective bargaining agreements lately? Do you know if your unit agreement requires your retirees to be in a city health care plan in order to have your welfare fund benefits? Asking for a friend? <laughs> Today, we learned of the next union, because there's a few, that this actually affects. So if you are CWA Local 1180, Gloria Middleton voted to push all retirees into Medicare Advantage. She even wanted to change the administrative code to charge seniors for a plan that pays less than 20% of their health care last year. She testified on January 9th that this was the only way forward that we had to do it, and it was perfect, and it was wonderful. Well, guess what? Her own members would be screwed if they were forced into Medicare Advantage plans and they had to leave or waive their city benefits to stay on traditional Medicare, they would lose their Medigap plans, their city reimbursement, and their welfare fund plans.